Hello, my name is Ruth, and I would like to help you learn new words in English. Join me next for Hello Word Power on Hello Channel. This is Hello Channel. Hello. Welcome to Hello Word Power. My name is Ruth. Today we're learning words in English that begin with the letter T. Capital T, small t. The letter T is the 20th letter of the English alphabet. T is a consonant. T usually makes the sound t, t. Sometimes when it's followed by an H, it makes the sound th, th, where your tongue comes out between your teeth. You try it, th, th. Yes, that's right. Hard T, t, or th, th. Are you ready to learn? Let's begin. Transportation. 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 Now you try it. Transportation. Say it one more time. Transportation. Again, transportation. Well done. Transportation means the act or business of moving goods or people. A bicycle was his form of transportation to and from school. I use the city bus for my transportation. Transportation. Trap. 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 Now you say it. Trap. Say it again. Trap. One more time. Trap. Well done. Trap means to catch or be caught by being tricked. We set a trap to catch the mouse. Trap. Travel. Please repeat. Travel. Say it again. Travel. Travel. Well done. To travel means to go from one place to another. She had to travel two miles to get to the grocery store. The group planned to travel to a foreign country. Travel. Treasure. 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 Now you say it. Treasure. Say it again. Treasure. That's correct. Treasure. Treasure is something of great value. Her mother's wedding ring was something she would always treasure. The pirates found buried treasure. Treasure. Tree. Tree. You say it. Tree. Say it one more time. Tree. Tree. Well done. A tree is a tall plant that is mostly wood, branches, and leaves. The boy liked to climb the tree. On the branch of the tree, there was a bird's nest. Tree, tree, trick, trick, trick. Say it with me, trick. Please repeat, trick. That's correct, trick. Trick means to fool someone. They played a trick on their friend. She was tricked into giving up her favorite toy. Trick. Trip. 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 Please repeat. Trip. Say it one more time. Trip. Well done. Trip means two things. Trip can mean to stumble on something. Be careful. You may trip and fall down. A trip also means to travel somewhere. 
the family took a trip to another country. Trip. True. 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 Now you say it. True. Say it again. True. Well done. If something is true, that means it is correct or right. What the teacher is saying is true. True. Turn. 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 Now you say it. Turn. Say it one more time. Turn. Turn. That's correct. Turn has two meanings. Turn means to change directions. The directions told us to turn right at the stop sign. Turn can also mean to change colors. In the autumn, the leaves turn from green to orange. Turn. Thought. 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 You say it. Thought. Please repeat. Thought. That's correct. Thought. Thought has several meanings. Thought means the act of thinking. He was in deep thought. Thought can mean an idea or opinion. Have you had a thought about what we should do? Thought can also mean giving something close attention. She gave extra thought to her possible career plans. Thought. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Thanks for watching Hello Channel, where learning English goes from impossible to incredible. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Tight, tight, tight. Say it with me. Tight. Again, tight. Very well done. Tight has two meanings. Tight means fitting closely, as in, the belt was too tight on his waist. Tight also means fastened or held firmly. He had a tight grip on the rope. Tight. Tiny. 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 You say it. Tiny. Please repeat. Tiny. Well done. Tiny. Tiny means very, very small. The baby had tiny hands. The tiny seeds grew into large plants. Tiny. Toast. 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 Please repeat. Toast. Say it one more time. Toast. That's correct. Well done. Toast. Toast has several meanings. Toast is bread that is lightly browned by heat. We ate our morning toast with butter and jam. Now, if you are giving a toast, that means to drink in honor of someone. Let's toast the bride and groom. Toast. Trash. 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 Now you say it. Trash. Right. Say it again. Trash. Correct. Trash is all that you have thrown away because it was worthless. It's like rubbish. We put the trash in the garbage can. Trash. Trouble. 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 You say it. Trouble. Please repeat. Trouble. One more time. Trouble. Well done. 
trouble means a difficult or dangerous or upsetting situation. We were in trouble if we couldn't get our car to start. When the boy was speaking out loud in class, the teacher got him in trouble. Trouble. Try. 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 Now you say it. Try. Say it one more time. Try. Well done. Try has a few different meanings. Try means to attempt to do something, as in, the mother wanted her daughter to try and ride the bike. Try also means to examine in a court of law someone accused of a criminal act. They were going to try the woman for robbing the store. Try can also mean to put a strain on. The tired little child knew how to try someone's patience. Try. Two, two, two. Repeat. Say it one more time. Two. Well done. Two is the number that comes after one and before three. Two sounds like two and two, but they are spelled differently and they mean different things. This one is the number two, as in the family owned two cars. Two. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. For a brighter future, just say hello. Hey, Mom, why don't we all go rollerblading tonight? Oh, uh, not tonight, honey. Mom, spending time with me now means having a better chance of being close to me when I'm a teenager and I become a roller coaster of emotions. How are you going to deal with that if we're not close? Go get your blades. Give your family everything. Give them your time. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Thermometer. 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 Let's say it together. Thermometer. Now you say it. Thermometer. Yes, one more time. Thermometer. Good job. A thermometer is an instrument that is used for measuring or indicating temperature. There are thermometers designed to take a person's temperature. There are other thermometers designed to test the temperature of food. And there are many thermometers designed to tell you what the temperature is inside or outside. We will check the thermometer outside and decide whether we need to wear a coat. Say it again, thermometer. Correct. Thin, thin, thin. Now you say it, thin. Again, thin. Once more, thin. That's right. Thin has two meanings. Thin means having sides or opposite surfaces that are very close together. Thin is the opposite of thick. The chef sliced the cheese in slices that were as thin as a piece of paper. Thin also means having very little fat or flesh on a body. The orphan boy is painfully thin. Say it again, thin. Yes, that's right. Tight, tight, tight. Now you say it, tight. Again, tight. One more time, tight. Yes, that's right. Tight has two meanings. Tight can mean fixed, 
fastened or firmly closed, hard to undo, hard to move or open. The lid to that jar is so tight, I cannot open it. Tight can also refer to clothes that are too small to properly fit on a person. Mike's pants are too tight and he looks uncomfortable. Say it again, tight. Yes, that's right. Tire, tire, tire. Now it's your turn, say tire. Again, tire. One more time, tire. Yes, that's right, good job. Tire has two meanings. Tire can mean to grow weary or to need rest or sleep. The baby begins to tire each afternoon before she takes a nap. Sharon tires of doing the housework every day. Tire also refers to the thick rubber covering that is installed around the wheel of a car, truck, bicycle, baby carriage, or any other vehicle or transport. Lincoln purchased new tires for his race car. Say it again, tire. Yes, correct. Traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. Now you say it, traffic light. Mm -hmm. Again, traffic light. Yes, one more time, traffic light. That's right. Traffic light is two words. A traffic light is also called a traffic signal. A traffic light is a set of automatically operated colored lights, usually red, green, and amber. The traffic light is used for controlling traffic at intersections, busy roads, and junctions. A red traffic light means you should stop. Say it again, traffic light. Yes, good job. Tweezers. 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 Now you try it. Tweezers. Yes, say it again. Tweezers. One more time. Tweezers. That's correct. Tweezers are a small instrument used like pincers to pick up small items or pluck out hairs. I needed tweezers when I got a small sliver of wood stuck in my finger. Say it again. Tweezers. Yes, that's right. We'll be right back after a short break with more Hello Word Power. Hello. The job market is a competitive place. In today's economy, extra skills mean a better job for you. Speaking English is the skill you need for greater opportunity, more money, and a brighter future. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new television channel that teaches English as you watch TV. There's something for everyone, and the more you watch, the faster you'll learn. All you have to do is say hello. Welcome back to Hello Word Power. Are you ready to learn more words in English? Let's begin. Table. 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 Now you try it. Table. Again, table. Yes, one more time. Table. Nicely done. A table is a piece of furniture with a flat top and one or more legs providing a level surface on which things can be placed. A table can be used for eating, writing, working, or playing games. The family sits at their table each night when they eat dinner together. Say it again, table. Correct. Tape, tape, tape. You try it, tape. Again tape. One more time, tape. That's right. Tape has several meanings. Tape 
can be a narrow strip of material that is sticky and used to fasten or hold things together. The teacher will tape her students' artwork to the walls of the classroom. Tape is also a long, narrow material that has magnetic properties. This kind of tape is used for recording sound, pictures, or computer data. The radio station still records music on reel-to-reel -reel tape. Tape also means the act of recording sound or pictures. The actors tape their television episode every Friday. Say it again, tape. That's right, good job. Teenager, teen-ager, teenager. You say it, teenager. Again, teenager. One more time, teenager. Yes, that's right. A teenager is a person who is between 13 and 19 years old. Marianne started working for the company as a teenager. When Frank was a teenager, he learned how to drive a car. Say it again, teenager. That's right. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Now you say it, teeth. Again, teeth. Yes, say it one more time, teeth. That's right. These are my teeth. Teeth are the hard, bony, enamel-covered structures in the jaws of people and most vertebrates. They are used for chewing and biting. The movie star has a big mouth with large, white teeth. Say it again, teeth. That's right. Terminal. 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 Now you say it. Terminal. Yes, again. Terminal. Once more. Terminal. Yes, that's right. Terminal has two meanings. Terminal means predicting to lead to death or incurable. Hallie's grandfather has terminal cancer and will die soon. Terminal also refers to the building where airplane passengers either arrive or depart. David's father was arriving at terminal number four at the airport. Say it again, terminal. That's right. Thaw, th -aw. thaw. Now you try it. Thaw. Again, thaw. One more time. Thaw. Yes, that's right. Thaw refers to a substance which is frozen that becomes soft or liquid because of warmth. The frozen river begins to thaw in the springtime. Or, mother takes the frozen meat out of the freezer so it will thaw before she cooks it. Say it again, thaw. That's right. Well done. You did very well today. Now, practice some of the new words you learned on Hello Word Power. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.